But the important thing is to understand the biology of these tumours. So we need to be able to identify them by their genomics, by their antigenic profile, not just by essentially the way they look. Because in terms of their morphology, they're really variations on a general theme so that we see a spectrum of features underneath the microscope and um, that particular group currently sits between carcinoid tumours of the lung which are generally very indolent tumours, highly organised and highly aggressive small cell lung cancer which is almost by definition a primitive tumour with little differentiation but that between those two more easily defined entities is a very broad range and it's dividing that into the various groups that matters. And we can't do that unless we develop tools to separate them. And looking at them under the microscope is not adequate. I mean, you can say that about all of diagnostic tumor pathology over the last 30 years. The reason why we've advanced so much is that we now define these entities on much more than just the way they look. We define them on the antigens they uh, express and on the genetic changes that drive them in the first place and the, the type of mutation um, uh, and, and, and it, it's only that very forensic analysis which allows us to separate them out. What's generally referred to as molecular testing which of course is a very big issue at the moment uh, across tumour pathology and diagnostics.